Welcome to WCSU Library Tutorials. In this video, we'll be covering the basics of searching while exploring some of the features of West Search. At one point or another, most college and university courses will require you to search for scholarly materials. Whether it be a book, video, article, or a number of other countless sources, it can be hard to know where to start when beginning your search for information. A good place to begin is with West Search. West Search is our library's catalog. A complete listing of all of our library's holdings, whether they be physical or digital. To find West Search, start at the WCSU Libraries homepage, then look for this yellow box. You can perform a search right from this page by typing into this bar, or you can click on the West Search logo or the Advanced Search link to be taken to the catalog. However, you get there, once in the catalog, it's a good idea to make sure that you're signed into your WCSU account. This way you can track your progress and pin records as you search in order to return to them later. Start your search by typing a name, topic, or other keyword into the search bar, then click search. We'll try searching for the keyword librarians. As you can see, this basic search has returned a vast number of results. It'd be a waste of time to comb through all these holdings to find the one that you need, so there are ways that you can narrow down your search. To narrow a search means to make it more precise. There are times you'll have to narrow or expand your search depending on the results you receive. First, let's look at the filters that you can use under Tweak My Results. You can see multiple categories that when applied will filter your search results to match its criteria. If we wanted to look for books on librarians, we'd scroll down to Resource Type, Check where it says Books, and then click Apply Filters. You'll notice the results have gone down significantly since we applied the filter. Still, 4700 results could be a lot to go through, so let's narrow the search even further by using Boolean operators. Boolean operators are used to adjust search results. These operators are placed between your search terms to different effects. It's also a good idea to click Remember All Filters when undertaking another search. It'll save your active filters from your last search and apply them to the next one. Let's say that your assignment requires sources on schools and librarians. We can use the operator AND to search for articles containing both terms. If we needed to expand the search, the operator OR We'll search for results that contain at least one of these terms. Now let's say we needed a book that's about librarians that doesn't mention schools. We'd use the operator NOT in order to exclude a keyword from our search and narrow the results we receive. Still, let's say that none of these results are containing what we're looking for, and we want to find books just on school librarians. Searching a keyword or key phrase with quotation marks around it will tell the catalog that we only want books with that specific wording in the record. Once you find a record that suits your needs, click on its title to pull up a tab with a more detailed breakdown of the record. From here, there are a number of things that you can do. Click the blue link to view the resource. Click the pin to save the record to your account. Generate a link to this record. Email the record to yourself. And generate a citation for this record, just to name a few. Scroll down a little, and you can view important publishing information about the record. In our video on advanced searching techniques, we will discuss how to use some of this information here to perform even more detailed searches. It's important to remember all these techniques when beginning a search, many of which can be applied to almost any catalog search function. You will have to play around with different combinations in order to get exactly the results you're looking for, so don't be afraid to experiment with your searches. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Make sure to check out our other videos to learn more about searching.